part 17. We are just going to fine tune our seminar UI so that it really looks nice. We are going to clean up some things and make it just much nicer looking. We put some IDs away, we put some pictures on it, basically we link to the teacher. So we just make a lot of cleanups so that we have a very nice solution and a kind of roundup for our user interface. Today we want to improve a little bit more our user interface here. So we want to make it a little bit nicer here to uh, look like. So for this, we use also UI designer. What we're going to do is we want to have a proper seminar here link where we can click, like we can click here on the UUID. We would like to hide the UUID. We want to display maybe the seminar with a name here, sort a little bit the columns. So just make it a little bit more nicer looking here. Okay, so first of all, we want to have this link here clickable. So for that, it's important that this field is linked to the right thing type container. So if we go to the data model, you can see here the SAP UUID where the link is working is linked with a thing type container seminars. So now we just need to change here also the thing type mode to static because it's always the same link. And here select our uh, thing type. So we need to select our seminars here. And that's all we need to do in order to get a link to the seminars. Let's take a look at the front end. So now you can see here we have a link and when I click on it, the right seminar is opening up. So we have a nice link already here. Now let's combine these two columns to make a description here and let's hide the UUID. So first let's hide the UUID. I will just set this visibility here to false. And then this seminar here, we would like to have an ID and a description. So for this, we just go to presentation mode, ID and description. Okay, that's okay. But we need to do this on the binding. So let's go here to our seminar ID. And then we should have here somewhere the data. Ah, here we have the identifier description. And here we just select also the name. Okay, then we should have the ID and the name. Then now it's a, we don't necessarily need this name column anymore. So I just also set visibility here to false and let's take a look at the front end okay that looks much better now we see here the id and always the name we can click and open it so the next thing i want to do i would put like some more columns here so let me let's see what we could also add here from the data model i guess the teacher is interesting um the total revenue we want to see later the number of participants. Okay, so now let me also sort this here. So let me change a little bit how they are sorted. So the action would have the last start, end date, number of participants maybe here. Teacher is important. Okay, I think that's okay. So let's save and activate this and let's take a look how it looks in the front end. So now we can see very nicely here, we have the different seminars, we have the seminar start, end date, the number of participants are here, it's not filled. So we could do this now. So we have also our search. So it looks already much more complete here. Now, what I would like to have also link on the teacher. So let's do a link now on the teacher, how we are able to link to a standard object here. So all I need to do is set here on the data model, also the thing type container. So let's go here, let's go to the teacher. Oh, which teacher do I use here? Now let me check a look. Um, the browser, data model, teacher one. Okay, there was a teacher field before that we're not using anymore. So let me use this one. And all I need to do is I need to set the thing type mode here, also to static. And now I need to select the standard thing type for the employees. So let me see where this is here. And after I save and activate, I hope I could also navigate to the employee. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we have now the teachers also here and we have nice, this nice symbol and we also get the employee and we can click on it. Unfortunately, when I do this now, it's not opening the right employee because um, I think that the UI behind is expecting the UUID and not the internal ID. But uh, we have the UUID in our association. So let's change that and use the association. So that's a bit more that you learn now. It's not a big deal because luckily we have the association. Let's do that now. So let's go to our BO model. Let's choose our BO model, use the association to teacher. And here we select the UUID of the teacher now, which is here. 
and let's try with this one. So I will drag and drop it now just somewhere here. And then I will get the UID of the teacher. And um, then I need to also to set now here on the UUID of the teacher, this one here, the same property with the thing type navigation, static. And now we choose the employee here. Um, where is it? Okay, and let's save and activate and see if that's now working better. Okay, so here we have now the UUID. Let me click on it. Ah, uh, yeah, I can see, and I can open it, and I really open the people. So this looks good. I mean, for sure now that's not a very nice naming here, um, but luckily we can very easily put the name here. So let's go back to the UI designer, put a description here, and say description only, and then we can hide our teacher field or remove it, and then I think we are done. So back here, I go to the designer, the UID. Let me first rename it now so that we have it a nicer label there and we call it in our case teacher teacher okay then i will go to the data model of our uid of the teacher and um, i will bind the identifier description here to the name of a teacher so there we will also use a association and we say then we need to have in current common, this is where we find the name. And we take the business partner formatted name, that should be last name, first name, and so on. So that should be nice. And now, because we don't want to have this UUID displayed, we just say here now, presentation mode, description only. And uh, let me hide our original teacher field here, call invisible faults. Okay, and I think now it should look much nicer already on the front end. Let's take a look. Okay, here we go. You see we have our seminars that we can open up here. We have the teacher here with a nice symbol and we can just click on them and then they are opening up and we can see some more details and we can also click again to open them up completely. So I think now our UI looks really nice. I mean, we have the columns that we would like to have here. We have nice links and IDs here. Um, we have the searches here. We have the, all the functionalities that we need, actually. I mean, that's quite nice. I think now we're called complete. We added the delete button here. So, I mean, for sure we could do more fine tuning now of such an UI, but this is, I mean, really already a big part of it. And, uh, you see how you can make the UIs really look very easily like a standard UI. You can very nicely have links to all the standard objects. And uh, I think now our solution is quite complete. And the next thing is we take a look at more features like web services, maybe talk about bit UI designer. I hope until now the seminar management, uh, you liked it. And uh, you see that we are really making big steps forward here. And I hope all that is helping you to build nice and beautiful solutions. Ah, before a last minute note, I would like to change this view name here from seminar management view to seminars. So let's do that also very quickly. For this, I need to open the VC view here with the UI designer. And then I need to change here the name uh, seminar management view to seminars. Now, no, for sure, I need to go to edit mode first. So let's do that. And now, seminars, okay, save and activate. And then you can see here the seminars are called seminars. So it looks much nicer. We could also assign now, for example, this work center view in one of the other ones, like under activities. So because you can assign your work center views also under the standard work centers if you want to have it more condensed. So now it looks really nice, our seminar management. And with that, we're really finished here.